Hello, I'm Joseph Oster. I've developed a pair of components for Rhino 6 Grasshopper, an enhanced create material component, and a bake to layer component. Two ancillary components are also included, a delete by layer component and a JSON M component that I'll explain later. This is not a plugin, it's open source Python that builds on code posted to the Rhino Grasshopper forum. There is a link in the video description to download the components and models shown here. The M material component offers nine inputs to define material attributes. An unwieldy number, though even more, are easily added. In practice, only three or four attributes have been adequate for me to create a wide range of materials. A cluster has been wrapped around the Python code that allows inputs and outputs to be renamed or removed to tidy up the grasshopper canvas. Considering that it wasn't consciously written to handle lists of attributes, it works surprisingly well with a random material defined for each geometry element, as shown in the orange group. The bake component requires the second output from the M material component, RM, render material. Though both M, display material, and RM are based on the same material definition internally, I wasn't able to figure out how to derive RM from M, unfortunately. Clearly, it must be possible because conventional baking of a custom preview component works as expected. Still, the combination of bake and delete by layer is very powerful. A complex model can be replaced in seconds by clicking just two buttons. Each of the four groups in this model test and demonstrate different ways to use it. The first and last group set material source to by object, m source equals 1. The second and third groups use by layer, m source equals 0, the default. The second group uses m material, which is assigned to the specified layer. The third group doesn't have an rm input, so it doesn't affect the layer material, expecting it to be assigned manually in the Rhino file before or after baking. Baking with M source equals 1 by object doesn't affect the layer material either. It adds to the list in the materials panel. Finally, I tested one more scenario that I find rather compelling, the use of data output and data input in Rhino 6 to split a model into multiple grasshopper files and pass geometry and other data between them. This is where my inability to derive render material from display material becomes painful. Display material can be passed through data output input because it apparently consists of XML, a string. If your only interest downstream is display, not baking, that's all you need. But render material doesn't work that way. It cannot be passed via data output. In the end, I chose a method that is a bit ridiculous and yet, perhaps, is a seed of greater things possible in Grasshopper. I added a JSON output to the M material component to convey its input values in text form for transmission via data output. This is why the JSON-M component was added. Subsequent Grasshopper models use the JSON values from data input to replicate both M and RM, so passing it alone enables both custom preview and bake. Caveat emptor, bake doesn't currently handle grouped geometry. It must be ungrouped first. My strong preference would be to have these features built into Grasshopper, written and maintained by people far more qualified than I am. This is an amateur hacking effort. Digging through the guts of Rhino APIs where I don't belong, searching for ways to make these pieces work together with barely any clue about consequences and alternatives, was painful and very far from ideal for all concerned. Enjoy at your own risk. Aloha.